What causes couples to have problems having kids? Tonight, a breakthrough in testing a man's fertility. Dr. Deanna Lice is here now with the tales. Dr. Lice. Allison Warner, up to one in four men getting fertility tests have a problem that the standard tests don't measure. As a result, they often try costly treatments that never work and then wonder why they can't have children when the tests show that they should. Well, now there's a new test that can discover the real problem these men have. It's damage to their sperm's DNA. It was just unexplained. I think we fell into the 20% of don't know why. For 12 years, Cindy and Mike Meisch tried to have children. It was especially frustrating because the standard fertility tests gave normal results for both of them. I had a semen analysis a couple years before, and they said everything looked good. There should be no reason why I can't have a child. The standard semen test counts sperm and measures how fast they move. But there can be another problem with sperm, a problem Mike had that standard tests don't find. One out of every four uh, guys that comes into our offices to be studied may in fact have an abnormality that we can't fix. Fertility specialist Randy Morris says about 25% of all male infertility may be due to damage in the sperm's genes, or DNA. Laboratory studies show these sperm appear to fertilize eggs normally, but the embryos they form don't survive in the uterus. Whatever that specific problem that arises is, we don't know. We can't see that part. We just know that they don't get pregnant. Now, for the first time, there's a test that can detect DNA damage in the sperm. Samples are sent to this lab in South Dakota, where a laser beam and a fluorescent dye cause normal sperm to show up green. The reddish sperm has DNA damage. Usually an abnormal result is a very bad thing. Although doctors can't repair damaged DNA, they say that a bad result at least ends the frustration of not knowing the cause of infertility and also ends the high cost of going through repeated fertility treatments. But in rare cases and for unknown reasons, we got pregnant. <laughs> We're just thrilled. Uh, they, they are the only couple that we have so far with an abnormal test that has achieved pregnancy. Cindy and Mike already have a 3D ultrasound of their baby boy, and they're hoping for more. My wife would love to have a daughter, so we'll try for a girl. If I get another boy, then, you know, I'll be halfway to my football team. <laughs> And the cause of DNA damage varies. Dr. Morris says it might be due to a high fever, something in the environment, or a combination of medications. Usually it means a couple will need to adopt or seek a sperm donor to have children. But as we saw with Mike, that's not always the case. If you'd like more information, you can find links on our own website at NBC5.com. They must be so excited. Oh, yeah, obviously they are. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Light.